This time, we're going to investigate some very mysterious creatures of the night. Bats. Now, some people think of them as spooky, haunted, but usually they're just misunderstood. We're going to lift the curtain of darkness on some of the most amazing animals on the planet. Bats are the only mammals that have figured out how to fly without using, say, an airplane or a helicopter or a hot air balloon. They probably evolved from something like this mouse opossum, and he kind of likes to move around at night. What were limbs eventually became wings, allowing them to hunt throughout the forest. But you know, it's tough finding food in the dark. I, I know, I tried. So, to operate in the dark, bats had to develop some very sophisticated equipment. Many of them emit super high frequency sounds, but you and I can't hear them. The sounds bounce off objects and echo back to the bat, so he can tell where things are. Cool, huh? Some bats use this radar, along with their sense of smell, to zero in on fruit. And the infamous vampire bat uses it to search for blood. There are over 900 species of bats. That makes them one of the most diverse groups of mammals in the world. It can be difficult for us detectives to investigate bats because they live in the dark and they move fast. Whoa, there goes some now. Detectives have developed all sorts of cool cameras and spy equipment so they can monitor bats day and night. We need to keep an eye on bats because, you know, they're really important to the environment. For example, some flowers only bloom at night and bats pollinate them when they drink their nectar. Other bats go for fruit. This group right here is having a fig fest. You gotta have a lot of figs to feed this crowd. These vampire bats often feed on livestock, but their bite is so slight that the animal probably doesn't even feel it. Still, others eat insects. These bats live on the forest floor and use their big ears to listen for rustling of katydids. It's sort of like having a big satellite dish on your head. So you see, bats really aren't all that scary. They're mostly interesting. And come on, admit it. Some of them are even cute. 